hey guys welcome back to a new video and i'm going to show you guys how you can properly calculate your pips on volatility and basically all the indexes on your mt5 yeah it's very different from mt4 mt4 you had to go the hard way and calculate physically um, do the calculations physically but mt5 it's already automated so you don't have to go and start doing physical calculations that's what I'll be showing you guys on this video, so stay tuned. Yeah, everybody knows how important it is to know how to calculate pips. Yeah, because it's going to make you um, know when, you know how much you're going to lose or profit before you get to your target it's very important it helps with good fix management and if you want to step up your game you should know how to calculate pips and i've been getting the request a lot from this youtube channel um, to make a video about that so that's why i made this video and as you can see i made sure to open all the volatilities that we have on deriv platform so i used the strategy of course a powerful strategy and also i was using price action to open those that was not um alongside with the strategy that's those on the 50 level i had to use price action to enter and the rest was at either 80 or the 20 level so i'm going to show you guys how you can actually and um, properly do that Because right now I have all the volatility indexes, all the positions opened. So we are going to calculate and then to know if your calculation was correct, I'll show you how you can check that and also how you can do it. You know, I have all the positions there, of course, with the lowest lot size. So I'll be able to fix it all in my um, $200 accounts using both the strategy and price action so let's um yeah let's go straight into how you can do that hello guys now that we're on our live chat let's properly see how we can calculate the pips so what you want to do um let's use volatility 75 as a case study um this is our volatility chart v75 and now we want to calculate the pips uh maybe we want to calculate the pips from our entry points to maybe the current market price or let's just say we want to calculate the pips from the current market price to our entry points okay from this point over here current market price to this point at which we enter the market which is our um entry point ep we want to check the pip difference from this point to this point even though we are in loss we still want to know the pip the pips difference so what you're gonna do is um on your cursor over there you're gonna tap on it using your left thumb to bring out the cursor and using your right thumb you you place the first cursor on your entry point and then you tap with your right thumb over there um at the current market price so in this way you're going to get the full and accurate pip measurement um the only way you can move the right the right course is if you are holding down um, the first target line that's the only way you can move the right one so it's best to use your left and right thumb your left thumb to move the first course there which is at your entry point and then you hold down the the first course there so that you'll be able to use your right thumb to move around the second course there at the um current market price so now that you've done that you can see again figures over there that we can see the forward slash and we see 20 and forward slash 8113 right and you know um, 1000 points is equals to one pip so that simply means 8000 points that simply means eight pips all right and the 1615 over there that you're saying is the amount of candles in that um square shape the amount of candles we can or we can find from with when that square shape 
downwards is the amount of candles you can get over there if you count it is the amount of candles you will get so we're, we're getting just not just the um amount of pips we're also getting the amount of candles we can find on the on the square on the shape it depends on how large you're making your your um square look like so now we are getting both the candles and the pips so you can see now from the entry point to our current market price we're having eight thousand right to also see your end your entry points and your current market price more accurately you have to tap on your trades on your running trades as you can see on my flat 75 index over there those digits you see by the left is your entry point that's where you entered the cell that's why i entered the cell and those digits you see at the right is your current market price that's the current price the market is right now as i speak and as i make this video so that's the most accurate way you can check that but again you can also use this method of using the course over there and using your right thumb to just get the actual measurements so now you can see that uh, this is the current market price and over there we are having eight thousand that's approximately eight pips okay so to know now we have to know if i'm actually correct if the pip calculation is correct and also we have to know how much we are going to profit or lose um before we get to our target so already on this trade i'm losing eight dollars as you can see because i am minus eight pips okay minus eight pips because you're getting eight thousand points that means eight pips so i'm minus eight pips in loss that's what i'm getting um minus eight dollars so why now to now properly check to see if you are correct what you have to do is you have to find the difference of your ep the difference of your ep and your cmp your entry points versus your um, current market price the difference you get is eight pips at the moment so you're now going to multiply that eight pips with your lot size and i'm using 0 0.001 this is where the calculator comes in now we are going to have to multiply our pip difference of the current market price and our entry point the difference was 8 pip 8000 points 8 pip so we're going to multiply that with 0 0.001 which is the lot size i was using at the moment so i pulled up my calculator just now and you can see 0 0.0001 is that correct okay just two zeros so one times the difference which is eight thousand points eight pip right so but let's just let's just use the exact point we are getting so not to get you guys confused yes so we let's just say we're getting um eight thousand two three six so this is the amount of pip i've acclimate um accumulated so we're just gonna go times the lot size over there 0 0.001 multiplied by 8236 let's do that 8236 that's it over there so now this is the result we are eight dollars what eight dollars what in profits or in loss but in this case i'm currently in loss that's uh, that's why i'm getting um over eight dollars minus eight dollars so you can just go ahead and calculate it for whichever volatility you want let's just go to this one um uh, with over minus 44 dollars we're going to click on chat okay uh yes let's calculate the one for minus 44 dollar so this is my current my entry point and the market is going against me so i'm gonna hold it with my left thumb and just drag with my right thumb to our current market price and we are having over 29 candles over there and 8,826 points so that simply means also 8 pips right so what you're going to do is I was using a lot size of 0 0.005 so we're going to multiply 0 0.005 times 
8961 you see it's gonna give us this 45 dollars loss let's just see so um 0 0.005 times 82 oh is that what correct is that correct guys um okay so that's eight okay let's just say nine thousand it's around that parameter let's just say nine thousand so you take your lot size 0 0.005 times 9000 you see 45 that's the result of your differences of your ep your entry point with your current market price the difference you get the amount of pips you've accumulated whether in loss or in profit you just take that pip amount and multiply it with your current lot size you get your result and your result is 45 dollar but my my own scenario it's in loss but it's the same if you're in profit so that's basically and just how simple you can calculate it kudos to the developers of the mt5 they already made it easy this feature is not available for mt4 so there's no way you'll be able to do this on your mt4 you have to go and start calculating manually. okay so on this clean example here you just say let's say you just want to enter the market and you want to know how much you are going to lose if you get to your stop loss and how much you will profit when you get to your tp um i think that's basically the reason everybody want to know how to calculate your pips right if there's any other reason you are calculating your pips for please let me know in the comment section so let me get my facts straight but this is the main reason I myself calculate um pips so i would know even before entering to step up my risk management imagine you can already know how much you are going to lose when you eat your stop loss and how much you are going to profit when you get to your tp even before taking the trade so you know your account is very very safe if you know how to um calculate your um pips so let's say we just want to take advantage and sell the market to 5635 our nearest support and of course pull our stop loss just a bit above our resistance so um let's let's check how much pip we are we are willing to sacrifice there so our entry point which is 5722 i put my first course here and use my right thumb to drag and adjust all the way up to the way i want to set my stop loss which is which is 5786 and that's 63 which means six um pips yeah volatility 100 is very volatile like v75 too so that's why we're getting six pips over there so we're just gonna go go over our head and um we're getting six pips so we're going to multiply it um with with our lot size let's say i'm i want to use 0 0.10 which is the lowest let's see yes 0 0.10 which is the lowest so i'm going to go over it and multiply 0 0.10 times um 62 i've already done it before 62 so i'm going to lose six dollars okay so let's check our risk ratio if it's on points or if it does if it does not make sense you always want to make your stop loss tiny and your tp margin very huge so we are willing to risk six dollar for how much profit let's see so we're going to put our tp here of course and our tp is at um from our current market price to our target is we are getting over 100 points so you can see we are getting 60 60 for stop loss 100 for for our um take profit so we are adding plus 40 points you can see that's an incredible that's a very good risk management we're only risking six dollars for let's calculate 400 so that's uh, 0 0.10 times 100 so you can see we are going to get ten dollars if we get to our tp and we are going to lose how much six dollars if we hit our stop loss so you can see there's a real clear risk management i have not entered the trade but i already know how much i'm going to lose or win if i take this one with 0 0.10 lot size so i hope you guys have learned um something concerning the uh um cal calculation of your pips so um do let me know in the comment section and also hit my whatsapp line for any further questions you might have or issues you have calculating pips i really want you guys to learn how to do this because 
it's really really important and consider the like in this video that's how it gets to reach others to also learn this as you've learned now share to your family and friends and subscribe if you haven't so i'll see you guys in the next video thank you and stay safe